G'day folks, uh, it's time for another little uh, quick appliance repair. This was a freebie donation from a friend. It's a non-functional General Electric Sadie vacuum cleaner, industrial type dry vacuum. I'm guessing there was an abundance of 25 litre paint cans at the GE factory when they made these because it's essentially what it is. It's a paint tin with a vacuum cleaner motor attached to it. Uh, yeah, it is model VX20, 800 watts and made in New Zealand. Haven't plugged it in yet, haven't tried it yet. I just thought I'd clean it out because the bag's dropped off and there's a lot of crud inside it, so you don't want to put that through the motor just by turning it on straight away. Um, that's actually an original bag too. Yep not doing its job and that's probably the inner liner yeah what a mess this looks like leaves and crud from the garage or something yeah that's the original probably the inner particle filter and the other one would be an outer filter yeah 25 litre paint tin with wheels <laughs> That's all it is. But that's it. innovative. I like it. As for the motor, well, there's the impeller right out the, right under the exhaust, which you could also attach a hose to for blowing up air beds and other things like that. It's a fairly large motor too. Terminal strip. Oh, that's interesting. I can see a problem, that wire's pulled out of the terminal strip. That's probably why it's not working. Hey, if that's all that's wrong with it, that's pretty good. <laughs> I was expecting it to be blocked because when I first pulled the lid off at the bag and everything was sitting in the bottom of it, and I'd expected it to have just ingested a load of crap and died. But if it's just a broken uh, lead from the power cord, then that's an easy fix. So uh, yeah, let's uh, clean it out and pull this to bits and reattach that wire that's come out of the terminal strip. It's a fairly big pump in this thing. No outer housing over it though, it's just got that plastic deflector or whatever it is. And the end housing, it's really simple. I'm just going to go through and check all the wiring and try and get into the bottom of it. If I can get the motor out. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, fairly serious looking motor. It's, uh, yeah, just got to reattach that wire to the, uh, housing. It's, uh, I think it's a field winding. So one there going to the brush, one going to the field, and then brush and field going to the, uh, main switch. So, yeah, field winding's disconnected. Pretty straightforward. I'll clean it up, glue it back together again because all this crap's gone hard and cr crumbly. I'll stuff it back together again and test it. Alright, time for a little quick test run. I've glued the housing back on there. That had broken away and was unsealed when I found it too, so that wouldn't have been helping. It's a shame I didn't get a hose with it, but I've got a few old vacuum cleaner hoses around. Sounds not too bad. Of course, there's no noise dampening or anything on this. The impeller's right there. Not too bad. I haven't put the bags or anything in yet.
pretty good. Nice lightweight shop vac. I'm guessing 25 litre paint tins really were on special when GE started making these. But that's good. It's built well, motor's in good condition, it was just a loose wire. One of the field windings was disconnected. Well, it's series wound, so the motor was disconnected. Very good. I'll uh, find an adapter hose for that and we'll just keep it as a general shop vac. This is the inner bag cleaned up fine, there's no holes in it. And even the paper outer sacrificial bag, the fine dust filter, is in good condition too. I think you can still buy them too. I googled this little unit and there were a few online vacuum cleaner suppliers with bags and things for these. So it's very good. I can buy bag bags for it. The filters. It's only just a bloody dust filter. Oh, thanks for watching.